In this video, I'll show you how we can use text field in Material UI React. So the component is called text field. So we can import it from Material UI core. So if I save it now. Then you can see this is a text field. So this is the basic, uh, basic component of this text field. So we have like different types of variant so one variant is called field it. so this is the field and the another variant is called outlined so this is the outlined one level to a text field so it's uh, using this level property we can give one level suppose it is enter here now you can see that this is by default this is the center here comes here and if i click on it then it moves to the top and i can enter my text here you can also change the size using the size so if i give size by default it's a normal size and if i give small then it will create one smaller size text field so this is the text field that's smaller change the margin of a text field so we can give the margin as dense or we can give it as normal so for the second one let me give it as normal so for this one it's dense and for this it is normal so let me since the size of both has same normal size then you will find out the difference so this is the normal and this is the dense also another prop it's called full width so if i make it as marked it as full width then it will take the whole width of the screen so it will take the whole width so if i increase the screen size then also it will increase and if i decrease then it will decrease so i have some margin left here so it is getting some margin left I can change the color that is the highlight color if i'm clicking it here then it shows this the primary color by default if i write it as secondary then you can see that it will be changed to secondary if you support different types of form props then we can use with like normal text field for example for this one if i need this as a required value then i can give this as required and also uh, the level as suppose it is required see here that it adds this asterisk marks here to, to indicate that it's a required field also i can add some default value so let me move it to new lines so i can give uh, default value suppose it is default value then you can see that this it comes this default value by default i can also mark it as disabled so for disabled i need to use this disabled then it will be disabled so i can't click it so if i give any default value here default value then you'll see that this default value is here but i can't click it i can also make it as type password so if we need this x field to get password then i can we already have this level okay so let me send it to password i can give type equal to password so if i now see here then if i type anything then it's hidden because we mark it as password we can also mark it as read only for that i need to use these input props so here i can pass one flag it's called read only and if i mark it as true then it will be read only so let me add some default value default value default value and if i see it now okay let me remove the type password 
so here you can see that i can click on it but it's not changing it's not allowing me to change the value so it's read only so to accept only uh, number numbers so if i mark it as type as number then if i see it then you can see that i can't type any letters here i can only type only numbers and using this i can increment decrement these numbers here i can mark the type as search so it will be changed as a search field so let me remove this default view then it is marked as search field and here this cross mark is here if i click on it then it cancel uh, deletes all this enter text one helper text here so for that it's called helper text so if i give any types of helper text then it will be shown at the bottom so i have to write in other fields so it's like handles everything inside it as an error field so suppose the user is entered something and we want to show it as an error so we can just you just need to end this as error so even if something is entered then it will mark in red even the helper text we can also keep mark one text field as multi-line for that we need this multi-line and also we can add how many rows we want to show so if i give the multi-line and row is five then i can right multi lines but it will at max it will show only five rows given the basics of form props we can also add some icon to the left of this text field for that we need to pass this input props so here it's called start environment start environment so inside this we need to pass something called input environment so it will be uh, imported from this material by core code this component we need to pass then we need to for this component we need one props it's called position so we can pass it as start and inside this we need to add one icon so we can suppose i am using this access alarm icon so it will be imported from this material ui uh, icons and if i give it here then if you see let me restart it here you can see that it adds this icon to the left so this is variant so sorry this is outlined the variant is outlined so if i remove this outline again then for the normal one then it looks like this Start environment we can also give as end environment. So if I give it end, then it will move these icons to the to the right. So provide some I means text instead of this icon. So for that, this it is similar like for end environment. So we can just we don't need this icon here. So we can just pass on uh, means text so now you can see that this text is showing here similarly for we, if i add it as start environment then it will move it to the start the basics of text field in material UI. i hope that you learned how we can use text field and different types of customization so you can also check their guide they have like different types of examples so you can try them also if you love this video please like and please subscribe to my channel also please drop one comment if you have any queries. Thanks. Bye.